Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago and in Illinois. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I want to let you know that I'm going to be talking about a few things that a lot of people are already experiencing. But I'm here to let you know that I've concluded my most recent webinar. It's available for sale on my website. And there's quite a bit that I cover in it. I want to just show you something. This here, all of this, are notes, about approximately two months worth of notes that I take daily. And then I compile it together and I put it into a very concise format. And these are available 24-7. You don't have to go to an airport. You don't have to even go out in the cold or the heat or the rain or the snow or the sleet. You can simply order them online and go ahead at your own pace. Now, I want to let you know that my webinars all build upon each other, which some of you have uh, known that. And thank you to everyone who has purchased a webinar. However, I'm coming to the conclusion of talking about body changes and some of the other things happening on the inside. I'm going to be doing a whole new series that we're talking about that has a lot to do with the outer. And so that's coming up here. But I want to let you know that if you're newly awakened, if you're just becoming aware of what this journey is, if you're going through a spiritual awakening and it seems like you're having another set of ascension symptoms, pay attention here. Because I'm going to talk about some of this right here and right now, but I go into detail in my webinars. Okay, so as you know, back in November, if you've been um, seeing my posts, you know that uh, we are having quite a few of the organs in and around the body affected. And a lot of people are complaining. A lot of people are not yet able to make the connection and that is a challenge because it's not a mental connection it's a heart knowing connection of what is going on what to do and it's still not clear to a lot of people and depending on your union and where you at where you're at it's really not going to be clear to you so organs going through adjustments also we are tearing away the liver and the mind connection away from the collective. You are div divesting yourselves of the larger soul group in favor of focusing on your inner connections with each other. And yes, you should do the work. It pays off daily. Some of the work is not so hard. Some of it is just making little changes and adjustments in your daily life. Some of it's just leaving time for your union, meaning that when you have energies that you feel are incoming, you don't have to dread it. You actually flow with it and allow. It's not yet time to take off your seatbelts. You're still going here and it's still a little bit turbulent. You're still ascending. Some of you are getting ready to literally put yourselves together. And the other things that I want to talk to you about, I've got outlined on here. So this one I'm calling Catch Your Spirit. It specifically talks about catching your spirit body, anchor, connecting to it, anchoring to it. Also sealing your gates. That's going to be very important. You're sealing the gates to your heart. You're sealing the gates to several organs. And it may not be apparent to you right here, right now, right up front. But your body's going to let you know. And you're going to know when you need to shut things off, push things away, keep it at arm's length. Your body will tell you. And for some of you, your body already is rejecting things. It's been pushing things out places, people, foods. Foods are a big one for a lot of people because it shows up with allergies, 
food intolerances, imbalances, and it's not all due to the collective. I want to make that clear. It's usually due to some karmic reason way back. It's not because the food has always been stepped on with things because this is the disparity you see in the physical life. How can that person eat this or that or have such an unhealthy lifestyle and they have longevity and another person gets sick just looking at something? Why is that? So what I'm going to talk about in here are removing disease dis-ease and disorder within you with love and with willingness. And some of those things are very specific to twin flames. It's some of the stuff that some of you are becoming aware of. I also talk about being completely naked with each other. Now how many people have felt very leery about being naked and vulnerable with their twin flame? A lot of people. You don't want them to know certain things. You feel that it would be viewed as a shortcoming. You're afraid. You may have been afraid or been burned before. And yet, how do you really be transparent with them and naked? A lot of you are willing to, a lot of people are willing to have sex and jump right in with people, and then you're afraid to bare your soul. What's that all about? You know, why the fears, what's behind it? What is really going on there? Because being naked with each other means that you're transparent. There's nothing hidden anymore and nothing needs to be hidden. And getting to that point is what I want to help you with. It can be anything. It could be things that you've done in the past. It could be finances. Financial fears is a big one for a lot of people. And for good reason, because we do still need money and a, a, some way to somehow obtain the money right here at this physical level of living. That is how it's done. There's very few places in a metro area that you can actually trade, barter, trade goods. It works in some areas. It really doesn't work for most of the world. It works sometimes because it's the only way. So there is some mode of exchange, but some people are afraid to let their twin know exactly where things are at. You know, how did that last ex treat them? Are they ashamed of being abused? Because there's all kinds of tangled up emotions with this. I talk about Blu-rays and their role in Ascension. Blu-ray people have a very big role in Ascension and one of the very things that we've just gotten to a certain level of, of pulling people up to is the uh, successful removal of karma so that what you have left are behaviors, attitudes, um, sometimes really bad behaviors, old patterns, family ways of doing things, tribal ways of doing things, rituals, etc., etc. But the karma is no longer there to hold people. And you could say, well, geez, thank you. Thank you, Blu-rays. And the Blu-rays might say, well, you're welcome, but keep moving here. Keep going with that. Keep it moving. Keep stepping into it. Keep trying. Keep sticking your toe in the water. Keep on going. Don't stop. We've taken away this, 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 this. Now come on forward. The obstacles are being removed. I talk about creating and maintaining your life before you merge, which for some people will be with your twin. Some of you have had inklings of a business or an endeavor or a, a show. I talk to a lot of people. I talk to every, I've had four death metal singers that I talk to. There have been people that are makeup artists. There are people that um, teach meditation, teach breathing, doctors, lawyers, all walks of life. And some people are feeling to finish those old jobs. And some people can feel it right here under their heart of that new thing they want to do. And that electric energy is trying to form itself. And you need both. You need the electric and you need the magnetic to properly put things out into form. 
even if you're an excellent manifester, you will find that when it comes to Twin Flame, the brakes are on. And so I talk about creating and maintaining, also detoxing the body so that you can hold the love. That is extremely important. So I go into a lot of detail about that. You're calling in spirit and you're sealing your gates all over. Why? Because you're your own brand new gatekeepers. Talk about that in there. You're also releasing the old earth and along with that it's going to be the release of old Kundalini. Sometimes it's been misused. You're also uh, finishing up any karma, karmic agreements and Toxic people, toxic relationships, toxic behavior, and actual toxins. And that's different things for different people. The actual toxins, sometimes that's environmental. It could be where you live. It could be other things. And I want to remind you right here, you know, who is it that your twin has been? What have they been in 3D? What have they been? What have they done? Not just in this life, in multiple lives. You may become aware of it. Even if you're not, keep on moving with it. The spine, the backbone, all along every single vertebrae. A lot of people having back pain, sudden pains, uh, it's like a phantom sciatica, tailbone pain is uh, quite common when you're going through this phase of things. And what do you do about it? Well, what you do do is... I have, you buy my webinar, I'm just going to say it, <laughs> buy my webinar, but seven videos for moving your energies. And I want to explain something to you. As uh, some of you have heard of people who around you that might have cancer. So let's take, for example, breast cancer. Some people get it on the left side, some people get it on the right side. Why would it be on one side versus the other? or one lung over the other lung, or one testicle over the other testicle. And that has a lot to do with the energies of who they are and what has affected them, electric or magnetic. Right being the electric and the masculine, and the left being the receiving and the magnetic more. And yet when it comes to twin flames, it's not bilateral. This is what some of the exercises that are in yoga will try to be bilateral, but they don't actually allow the channels to circulate or some other things. So when you're in a 3D human body, things are very linear. They will, you know, run like on one track. But when it comes to who you are as a human angelic twin flame, especially a lumens twin flame who has a lot of connections, has been a lot of things, done a lot of things, might have some things to clear extra than other people, and you get like curly cues. You have to feel within. I have that down to very easy things to do. So how would you move the energies from this side over there? How would you? How would you move things from one ovary to the other ovary? Or how would you have a pain here only to feel that it's something here on your wing bone. You know, the wing needs adjusting. And a lot of you are getting angry and saying, oh, what is my twin flame up till now? And I'm saying, don't get angry. The anger puts up a wall between you two. It's time to get busy. It's time to get proactive. I got another thing to show you. I hope to make you laugh. How many people out there have been stressing and stress eating? You know, oh my God, you're my best friend in the old, whole world. You're eating chips or crisps. I found these at the store. So you know that there's stuff going on in the collective when the advertisers and the food companies start catching on. Are you a drama mama? when you're hungry, you're not, their slogan is, you're not you when you're hungry. Well, you're not you when you're not with your twin flame. Or even if you're with your twin flame, if you're not catching your stuff and working on your inner parts, you might be very confused. You're not getting clarity. You're not getting your guidance. You don't know what your body needs. 
you just know that you really feel like stressing. Well, I talk about that in my webinars to why is that? Why would your body crave sugars or salts? There's reasons for it. And there's things to do about it so that you don't overdo it. Are you feeling cranky and crabby? Are you a princess? And all kinds, both genders can be a princess. I'm not here to say who's the princess or not. But how many of you have had your metabolisms almost come to a complete dead stop? You're sluggish, you're slow, no matter how you exercise, no matter how you diet, things are at a standstill. How do you get that moving again? How do you get the burn going? I got these exercises to get the light and the love. You're actually getting the light into the organs where it's needed. If you've had false energies in your union, and a lot of us have, what do you do about letting it out so that you can get your own things moving? How do you get the pancreas to start up and, and work in conjunction with the spleen? How do you stop those false things, whether this is a false thing because you're putting it in for love and comfort, or it's a person, or it's someone that your twin is married to, or been married to, and just keeps, you know, putting the claws in and hanging on. What do you do about it? And how would you feel your twin? How do you get your higher energies in so that when you're together, if you decide you want to have something, there's not a deal killer there. If you want a beer, you want a glass of wine. No more deal killers. You No more saying, oh, geez, my twin does that. Oh, my God. You know, we're not having any more deal killers with the unions. How do you get rid of the mental stuff? I'll, I will say this. Since about December, I've spoken to several people where the mental is very confusing. It's verging into uh, sometimes oral hallucinations, seeing things. It is sending people uh, seeking help, getting meds. What do you do if your twin is on meds and they're on meds and you can feel it? What if someone needs anxiety, psych meds? What do you do about that? How do you help them remove the disease and the disorder with love? So I want to let you know that we are at that point it was very, very, let's say, hopeless for a lot of people a few years ago. And as we've progressed, as you continue ascending, you will find that more and more these things get easier. And there is a wellspring of love inside both of you that comes up and helps you. There's a lot of unseen help, but you are the only one with that eternal connection to your true love. I don't care what that person's been doing in 3D. It doesn't matter if you're connected to them. You have to be proactive. You have to jump in. It does, I'm going to say this too. It's from the inside. There's a misconception of, but I told that person, I went right up to them. You don't do this with a confrontation. That just goes, poof, poof, poof. and you're like, my God, what did I do? I told my twin this and my head is spinning or it hurt my heart. You get that boomerang effect. What I want to help you do is find your Goldilocks zone with this. Not too hot, not too cold, something right in the middle and balanced. And that is what I do believe I've done here. In fact, several of the past few webinars I've done have been exactly that. And even if the things are subtle, you're working on your subtle bodies. So um, please know that a big part of this is sealing your gates so that nobody else gets to you both. It's not just getting things out of your union and purging. You got to be able to close the door. How many of you would like to be able to close the bedroom door on people, places, things, children, problems, bills, everything? Pretty much everyone, I think. 
How many of you would like to finish detoxing and just be holding love? How many of you would like to remove the dis-ease and you felt maybe very futile or that there's something that you're just unable to do? Well, you are the God with the higher connections to enable that to begin happening now. Don't discount it. Do not disregard who you are or why you awakened in the first place. That's a disservice to your own soul. Don't just say, well, you know, oh well, and take up with a soulmate or continue. There's nothing here to sustain it anymore. We've like removed everything that was propping that up. And willingness to do this even on the days when you don't know what to do. You just do what you can many times. Yes, you take really good care of yourself. If you need a treat, you need a treat. But don't do it from stress and don't do it where it's it's your mind taking over like a Pavlovian response of like, oh, stress, reach for a cigarette, oh, stress, reach for a drink, oh, stress, reach for cake and cookies and chips and crisps and overeating, salty, 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 sweet, sweet, sweet. And then where do you get to? You wind up saying, oh, I don't feel okay because those food hangovers or those hangovers the emotional hangover is going to be enough of a detox. Don't add to it. You know, discern the difference between what it is that you need on any particular day. Maybe you need a walk. Maybe you need some exercise. The main thing I'll tell all of you is redirect yourself. When things start getting a little too mental, you redirect. You stop your own head. The head will send scary stuff to you. It will send confusing stuff to you, and it will send things that the collective is trying to say that is not necessarily the truth of your heart. Now, one other thing I want to let you know is, along with this very last part here, we are purging out some very deep religious stuff. The distortions. It's not that there's not truth in different world religions. I've got to say it again. There are bits of truth. They're sprinkled in there. People find them. But a lot of it's distorted and the mind messes it up and distorts it further. We're seeing this. We saw it in the Crusades. We saw it with the Romans. We saw it back in Greece. We saw it with the Egyptians, the Mayans. We don't like you. You are not acknowledging God. It's not our God. And, and you know, there might be people that say, well, I'm an atheist. I'm an agnostic. I don't care about such things. You may find you're still detoxing it because it might have been your thing or your twin's thing from several lifetimes ago. And what are you getting rid of? You're getting rid of Things like meaningless rituals, the darkness, the things that, you know, have pitted us against each other and have actually occluded the light and the love. It's time to get back to the purity of the love that you are and to very easily get things, things out of your system for good. Now, I do care very much I've had a lot of people lately who have gotten seriously sick. And, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of a cosmic jerk they were out there in another lifetime. I still care. I've had friends of the family, my own parents getting sick with things, and everything for me feels like we got to do this. We've got to get there. And I know that there's a lot of you out there like this. Because it's not a race for the collective. It is when twin flame couples focus on their twin and you focus on getting the disease and the disorder and the chaos out of your own union and you begin healing with love, that is what does it. That is what, just imagine what a world it would be if every couple were true lovers and in love the way they should. I mean, they wouldn't be taking out their stress on the kids, for one thing. They wouldn't be so stressed when it comes to maintaining their life with someone that they don't care about. 
And there's just a lot of things that will begin to shift and change that people will see more and more and more. And so, especially if you haven't tried one of my webinars, uh, please try one. They're very good. I put a lot of it, a lot of heart goes into it. All of my webinars do have a high frequency of love to bring in, help elevate you, and help you to easily do this when all you're doing is trying and practicing and be persistent. You don't even have to do it perfectly, but give it a try. Thanks again very much to everyone who has bought one. And going forward here, there's going to be quite a few things to still talk about that I will do in some of my general uh, public YouTubes. Uh, because I, I love to provide some of these uh, public service announcements. I always enjoy speaking with you. Um, thank you to everyone who has ordered a session with me. I do do one-on-one -on -one sessions and readings to get more detail for you so that you can make clear, proper decisions for your own union. Every couple is unique. You're all needed. You're all important. And some of us have to get there. We have to get through the gate so we can seal it and close it and have some intimacy. So thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.